Oh boy, I'm smiling, thinking, just thinking about what I want to talk about today. This is something that's frustrating, and that is, I, I don't know, maybe frustrating is not the word. It's um, the exasperating, I think that's the word I'm looking for. Exasperating, irritating, and yet I find myself intrigued. And if you have not heard about them, you must not be living on this planet or you are totally not online. But if you're here, then you're definitely somewhere online. It's the Karens. <laughs> I don't want to talk about the Karen themselves, but what, bring, what could possibly bring about this behavior? That's why I said it's intriguing. Welcome to Coffee with Timmy. How are you doing? When I was growing up, we had a, a there was a TV show with this particular um, character, Amebo. Some of you might know who I'm talking about. Amebo was a busybody, got into everybody's business, carried tales from one place to the other, and generally made a nuisance of herself and got into trouble, got people into trouble. But one thing that Amebo was not, or rather two things, she was not violent and she was not aggressive. She just needed to know and she just somehow needed the, she somehow had the urge to not just know things about people but to tell other people about it. This is a very totally different thing. We've got current and it has now become, it's no longer just a noun, that word, that name, it's no longer just a noun, it's now a verb. You can be current, you can be current, I think. <laughs> or you're just being a current. Doesn't matter what, what what your name is. And also what I found, it has crossed gender because men are now doing it. I watched um, a, a clip that I was talking about, a Darren. And it's not just white um, white uh, women anymore. It has crossed over to um, women of color, to men of color. And I don't understand why this is. For me, I cannot understand well uh, the entitlement that you feel or the, or the self-righteousness that you feel that you have that you can tell other people what to do or what not to do as the case may be and sometimes the silliness the outrageousness of the things that they are asking for or they are doing it makes me even wonder are they maybe acting out you know to the uh, at the expense of the other people there was one um, particular one that I thought Okay, the, um, there must be something wrong here, and this is actually what brought me to do this topic. You go, you, you have um, <laughs> a whole family is sitting at the bottom of uh, someone else's property. They're enjoying a swim on somebody else's property, and then this woman has the audacity to get up and then to say, "Leave us in peace. We just want to swim in peace. We just want to relax in peace on somebody else's property." I'm sure you've seen so many of this, um, of this uh, clips, of these video clips, and I think it's just getting more and more outrageous because, well, until recently, they are not, they were not being called to order. Obviously, it also it affected the um, people of color because the people they will walk up to. Well, in the beginning, it was just people of color. They will walk up to a black person and say something. <sighs> I, I want to say incre incredibly stupid, but. I don't even think stupid is the word because I have no, I, I have, I, I, I'm not sure my vocabulary is working properly right now because I need to have a word to describe what they're doing. It's outrageous. It's, um, it's even ridiculous, but ridiculous seems so small when I want to comp in comparison to what they're doing. And I wonder why has this suddenly started? And not only has it started, that has gone so far and it is growing. It has gone all the way to England. I saw one old woman. When I say old, she's older than me, so she's old. Old woman with a steel, a walk, a steel rod walking around somebody's car, checking on there as if she was looking for um, a tracker or something. What she was looking for, I have no idea. And when she was confronted, like all current, her, react, her answers were all funny, you know? Apparently, the guy had to be a criminal or else why was using a phone. That even my even my daughter had to start laughing. That what is she talking about? It's gone all the way to America, um, to Australia. But like I said in the beginning, I don't think it's going to get to Africa. Now, why 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 do I say that? Because our reaction. Somebody comes to you and tells you. 
some kind of nonsense on something that is your property, something that you know belongs to you, or is, you know it has to do with your kids, you know you're not going to smile and just uh, take a photo and whatnot. You know, you know yourself you're not going to do that. You know how we're going to react. So, in in a way, there is um there's a method in the madness. <laughs> Even somebody who is mad knows the limit of, of how far the madness can go. But what I what what I, what I started thinking is maybe this is a mental issue. Obviously, there's going to be something funny in in the brain of these people somehow. But it, the increase has also happened with the corona, um, with the you know with the spread of the coronavirus and the continued lockdown that we've had for so long. And you might say. Maybe the lockdown has increased it. Of course, we also know that the audacity that they had in doing all those things had to do with the fact that they were not being called to order. But now, quite a number of st um, states in America have now, um, uh, what, would I, what, what is it now? Have now got laws where if you call the police unnecessarily, you're actually going to get, you're actually going to be charged. But the, 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 the things that they do, when you say a, a, a nine year old grabbed your bomb, Seriously, a nine-year-old working with his mom will have nothing else to think of, nothing else to do, but, oh, let me touch this lady's mom as I pass. You're going to a child, I mean, I think that was one of the ones that started, you're going to a child, you go. You say to a child, she doesn't have a license to sell water. Meanwhile, you actually sell mar uh, grass, you sell marijuana to dogs, that's your job. But somehow an eight-year-old doesn't have the license to sell water on the sidewalk. An old woman says to kids, uh, at this time, I say it as far as gender now, because this is an old white woman saying to another white woman, your kids don't have a license to drive. To drive a motorized car. Do you know how small those cars are? And this woman is harassing this poor um, four or five-year-old. That I mean, the mom just like, what, are you, what is it? They don't have a driver's license. They don't have a permit to drive in a park. The things that are happening, people going to people's house to say, um, you shouldn't be living here, I, we should be living here. Yeah, you don't have the right to be in this in this property. You know, and I, I, that's why I say I think some of them are are made up. They want to be they want to be famous, whatever fifteen second fame they want. But but also it takes something. There's got to be something not working right in the gray cells. There's got to be something that has happened with the lockdown of not being able to go out to express yourself to get away from your family. Sometimes you need to get away from your family. Come on, you need to get away from you. you no, I'm not saying. Um, run away from them but you know you just need to peace and quiet okay i need peace and quiet i need to I just have be in my own space and the lockdown that's uh, it's just extended we have no idea when it's going to be over and the um restrictions that have come with it some people apparently cannot survive without going to the pub some cannot um survive without um but you know what i'm saying then i don't even need to name them it's been difficult it's been difficult and why do i think it's um it's a mental issue. I remember um, there was a time when I was overwhelmed. My, my, my child was still, was still small, probably below two or below three. And I thought, I actually thought that, that's it, I'm, I'm, I'm done, I'm giving up. I'm going to just get in my car and drive away. Now you cannot drive away if you have a child, you know, they, they don't understand where you're driving to. They don't care where you're driving to actually, they're gonna need to eat, they're gonna need to, um, to be taken care of. So I thought, oh, I've got this um, family that are my main support. I'm just going to put her there, pretend like I'm going out, and I just drive off. You know, I thought just, I just drive off. But you know what? I also like my basic comforts. <laughs> so, I, so somewhere along the line, I thought about it. Where am I going to drive off to? Blah, blah, blah. And then the, what actually helped me out was I was able to talk about it. I have um, I have two or three friends that I can talk to about anything, and I was able to say this is what I'm feeling. This is how I'm feeling. I actually wanted to run away. I was like, oh, run away, run away to where? Where are you gonna go? Anyway, so I was able to get it out of my system, and um, yes. But what if I had not been able to do that? There have been there have been um, cases of parents, loving parents, who just snap. For whatever reason it is, they just snap and they take it out on their children. Some have ended in um, fatal accidents or incidents. But the current issue, you if you have it, you need to just go online and just say Karen, K-A-R-E-N. It's it's incredibly, it's not even amazing. It's incredibly destructive. Even you that you're watching, you don't even, 
you know it does something to to, to my mind to like what on earth is going on why you know it actually makes me kind of violent sometimes i cannot lie because i just want to like reach into the screen and you know like come to your senses what are you doing how do you go to somebody's house and ask and ask for their for for their keys and you know it's it, it's funny you, you walk into somebody's garden what are you looking for i want to know how you got here i want to know how you can know this is not you're not the kind of person that live here who are you to say who, who, who's living who should live where you know how do you get up from your house and that's what you want to do and this is not just um it's it's, it's women of a certain age well well it starts it's like middle-aged women and like i said even men are doing it wear a mask for example and people begin to throw tantrums you are not children you are adults and they're doing tantrums like i said that's not happening here someone says you can't come into my shop you can't come into the shop there is no uh, freedom of expression or freedom of there is freedom of expression but you can't express yourself in my in my in my place of um of work where it says right there admission you can be admitted or not and i say no and they say because it's, it's um it's uh, i'm providing a service for people then you're going to stay and uh, you know that can happen here do you understand what i mean when i say it can happen here but it makes me wonder what is going on i actually tried to to, to find out if there's been a research on it or on why this is growing on why this is happening you know and people wait on some some of them now they're waiting until they get arrested and it's just sort of silly things you're being arrested you're putting into a car the next thing he says, um, get this on video, get this on video. They're trying to take my wallet. I'm being harassed. And you know the most annoying part of it? The most annoying part of it is after people have misbehaved terribly, they now call the name of Jesus. Now they want help from Jesus. Jesus, do this. Jesus, I said, no, no, this is calling the name of the Lord, my God, in vain. You know, you can't misbehave and then try to put Jesus in it. So I, like I said, I think there's something totally wrong in their grace house. Or some way if not to tell her something not working and I, I don't know how we're going to um, how this is going to be resolved because the okay the virus is dying down in some places but some people have not got into the habit you know of you walking down the road why are you running down the road without your shirt I mean I don't like when men are jogging without their shirts because I know mean, we are not allowed to do that it becomes something else but there you are in your speedos or whatever it is you're running down the road I may not like it in my car and that's it. How do you come into how do you come to me in my car and say, why am I driving a car that big? Because um, of the ozone layer or something. It's, it's, I'm telling you, it's ridiculous. If you've not watched any of them, and unfortunately, let me just warn you now. If you watch one and you see the title to another, you're like, no, this can't be happening. You want to watch another one. So please, if you've not watched, just watch maybe one or two. That's all. It is... Um, I don't know. I have no. It, it, it's actually, uh, that's why I said it's intriguing. It's like the universe. You know, we don't know the mysteries of the universe, but something must be done. Something must be done. The mystery of what is happening in their brain needs to be discovered. You know, it needs to be discovered, or it needs to be researched. Maybe not discovered. It needs to be researched. That's what I need. It needs to be researched so that help can be given. Maybe they need to be on Prozac. I don't know, but. Mental health is, a, is an issue. It's a really big issue. And this is it's beginning to show now. If, when an adult male can stand, in, can stand in a shop, in an aisle, crying, leave me alone, leave me, just leave me alone, just leave me alone, I don't want you to take me. All because you've been told to wear a mask. There's a problem. Hmm? My people, there's a problem. If you, know the, if you know the solution, or you know the reason why the rise and rise of the currents, are happening please let me know <laughs> it's been coffee with timmy bye for now